All right, guys, Jack here, JBF Music and Guitar Lessons. We're going for you here as a reaction to Bandmade's song Daydreaming, the official music video. Now, this one has been requested an awful lot and it also came through Patreon. If you want to put your own suggestions forward via Patreon, then I'll pop the link below patreon.com forward slash JBF Music. Competition time, many times I can say Patreon within a 30 second span there, <laughs> evidently. But yeah, before I go down a rabbit hole, as always, a huge thank you to Rabbi Rams, Matt Hortzman, Glenn Kelly, Juan Sam. And Stephen Williams, Rebecca Hay, and Ivan V for their continued support on Patreon. So, uh, an anti disclaimer now, this one's going to be more of a straight reaction to say about the song, they'll do a separate analysis video. And also, as a warning, uh, anyone who's suggested this and told me it's a ballad, I'm pretty sure this is a ballad one. I really am not a fan of ballads. I do enjoy this is, this is straight ballads, there's maybe about two or three I can think of. I am a sucker for a good power ballad, but they need to be the kind of cheesy 80s way where they keep kind of building up and getting more and more epic. But as ballads go, I'm not a huge fan. So I am, however, interested to see their take on it. But do um, brace your expectations here because my disdain for ballads is almost on a, the same level as my disdain for musicals. I, re I really don't like them either. And after having finished uh, Stuart Lee's book about why he made Jerry Springer the opera, in, in part because he thinks musicals are one of the worst forms, if not the worst form of art ever made. I think him in good company is kind of snobby guy that thinks he knows best. We can, I can just <laughs> put myself in that category. Let's have a listen to this. this hopefully not ballad. Hopefully not too ballady ballad. Very, very poppy start. Not necessarily a bad thing. You could play that on guitar with delay, but I think it might be a synth through the backing track type thing. Yeah, I mean, there's no too bad, this is good. Nice melody on the guitar. Really cool dynamic shift. A really nice scratchy tone on Miku's guitar here. Oh no, they switched them round. Oh, that's confusing. Okay. What's cool here is the bass and the drums were just really locked in. They were just doing doom, 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 same rhythm. Little harmonics, nice. Nice, almost like kind of childlike toy melody with a bit of delay on it, so it sounds a bit more magical. Very uh, Mike Isinger from Incubus type of thing to do. A kind of plodding triumphant chorus. Yeah. Really big sound on it, the way they put it together. In a different bass thing, okay. That bit's cool, nice bass line. to the toms for the second verse. Sounds like we've got some really cool natural harmonics over in the left here, probably using the neck pickup because it sounds a bit muddy. A lot more energy with the drums doing that beat, isn't there? Yeah, nice. Really simple bass lines from uh, Misa here. Good. Nice use of open strings. I thought she was going to build up to a bit more, just erupted into the shred. Right. She's used that move before. Uh, got the right key in the end. In Wonderland.
Yeah. Uh, it's, it's nice to hear them do more mid-tempo stuff. But I do feel this one could maybe just be a few BPM faster. Probably different live, but it feels like it's dragging for me a tiny bit here. That was a really beautiful way to wrap it up there. Yeah, nice. I suppose it's called daydreaming. So you know what, if that's what they're, the aesthetic they're trying to achieve, they nailed it really. It, it is an interesting one because um, I, I very rarely pay attention to lyrics and songs and when I do I often misunderstand them, I mishear words really badly a lot of the time. I'm more interested in the, the melody and how music alone kind of, in, you know, creates kind of emotions. It's this really eloquent uh, line, songs make you feel thoughts. And because I don't pay as much attention to lyrics or even names of songs, I think there was a whole layer that I kind of miss out on there. Because it was just at the end when I looked at the, the title, I was like, well, they've, that's what they've done. That's what they've achieved, which is kind of cool. And even just looking through the video, the whole aesthetic of it's quite daydreamy. Like here is almost like a kind of fairy tale. It's almost like a, kind of a pixie in some sort of magical... Wonderland where there's overgrown grass and a message you'll rectify or amplifiers. The juxtaposition of which is, is quite fantastic. You can check out more reactions there or the band made specific playlist there. Yeah, hit subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. You can join Patreon if you want to see more of the stuff, but take it easy guys and have a good one.